Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to part 3 of patch 1.4.65, the Community Warfare patch. And what we're going to be talking about in this episode is scouting. What is the whole uh, change and add addition, we should say, actually, to the scouting? So the, obviously it's the new mode, right? It's the, the scouting mode. So the primary goal for scouting is to collect intel on a planet. Um, every planet has 600 intel points. Um, overall, you have a maximum tonnage of 55 tons, minimum of 20. The first mech in your drop deck is going to be the mech that is going to be picked and selected for your for your drop when you go to do the scouting. So, of your four mechs, make sure the first one you have picked out is your uh, the one you're going to go with. So, here is the scouting screen. So, there's two options right up here. Invasion and scouting. Obviously, my unit's going to be doing a lot of scouting, so that's what we're going to pick out. And here it shows you of the 600 points, who has what. Now, this is the part I really like. On every match, there's 20 points up for grabs. You can win with only one point, and that's it, if you want to. But the catch-22 is, the more points you get, the more payouts you get, the more money you get. On top of all that, the more points you get, the percentages go up. And I've can see this thing swinging a bunch. Just a metric fuck ton. So, what's going on? Well, it basically, if this line here gets above 55% for either team, one team gets the combat identification option. Combat and identification gives you the ability to see what units the other team has If you when you hit tab. You hit tab, you see what the other guys have. So right now we're playing as, I'm assuming, because this is all blue, and we're on here, okay, yeah, we're here, okay, yeah. I am an idiot. So, we're over here, and I hit tab real quick just to see what's going on, and sure enough, boom, shows you right here what is on the other team. <laughs> that is so awesome. That is the best thing ever. The best thing ever. Uh, so basically that is the... the first one, that's so combat identification. That's when you get above 50%. So all you have to do, hit tab, and you can see what they have. Next part is the satellite sweep. So once this option here, this line, gets above 70% for either team, you get the next one, which is Satellite Sweep. Satellite Sweep will give basically everyone a... It's like a, a five-second notification. Um, to, 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 to basically, there's a big Satellite Sweep on the map, telling everyone from whatever side that they have where everyone else is on the other side of the map. Here we go. Enemy mechs will receive a brief warning that, they, that they're going to be getting tracked, or that they have been tracked by a satellite. So you'll just get a little notification saying you've been tracked. <laughs> That's awesome, eh? And it's duration of five seconds. So for five seconds, you get to see where everyone on the other team is. How awesome is that when you drop on a match, you're getting ready to, attack, to defend, and you're like, fuck, okay, I wonder what they have. All of a sudden it pops up. You hit tab, it shows you everything they have, and then on top of that, you drop, and after a few minutes, when they're probably in the position to get ready to rush, all of a sudden it pings everybody and shows you where they all are. How oh, awesome is that? And it gets better. So now, once this here is above 90%, you need the long tom artillery. Long tom artillery is when you get your, obviously, your intel above 90%, and there's a cluster of five units. After the satellite scan. So the satellite sweep will go through its sweep on a map. It will see that there's a cluster of five units. It'll drop purple smoke. After the purple smoke goes away after a couple seconds, it then drops, quote-unquote, a devastating strike. Now, if you look right here at this, just the sheer shy size of the concussion, that is right here. This is one of the drop zones. Um, what I'm looking at right now is the fact that if this is the damage radius... Um, even if you see the smoke, it's probably the more damage in the middle or whatever, so you have to run like a motherfucker to get out of that. This will be entertaining. 
very, very entertaining. Um, I'm looking forward to this. A um, couple things. So what it's going to do is it's going to be on the quick play maps. And there's going to be 40 locations. Out of the 40 locations, only 20 will spawn randomly. And they're going to be these little um, little things here, which we're going to get into momentarily. I'm going to hit the, the button here. Uh, new game mode. So what you're going to see are these little things here. These are your intel points. There's going to be 20 of them spread out throughout the map. Basically, whoever captures the most at the end basically gets your, your points, right? So the new scouting mode is going to be comprised basically of two different types. Scouting and then counter scouting. Uh, basically, one team obviously assumes other. Or 4v4, 55 tons. Uh, there's going to be 40 possible data points randomly around each quick play map. Uh, in the end, it's going to be 20 only that are going to spawn, but it's going to be random. Uh, basically, a mech has to stand within one of these little pillars within 75 meters uh, within its radius for three seconds. Once that three seconds is up, boom, that point's done. Now, that mech doesn't carry those points. What basically happens is, is those mechs just have those points. So basically, at this point in this game, the way it's built up is you kind of want to have guys that go in and fight, but then at the same time, it's you kind of want to have that one person that's probably dedicated to just capturing points and have the other three just grinding out and fighting, maybe. I don't know. I um, want we'll to see how it is. Uh, so it becomes permanently inactive when the data when the, when the data point's been captured. Uh, data points turn into intel points later on. So overall, there's a possible 40 locations. You get 20 in a match. And there's a total of 600 to capture. Um, when other team hits the goal... So when the defenders hit 11 data points, so above 50%, they will get a countdown for basically for the attackers to leave. Um, when the attackers get 10 points, they also get the countdown to, to leave. Now, technically the attackers would still win with one point if they have at least 10. So, I mean, you still got to kill them all, right? Um, so the first part of the match is to capture these data points. The second half is for the attackers to, well leave. So there'll be an extraction uh, an extraction zone and an extraction countdown. So basically it's called a transit countdown. Uh, when a transit countdown expires, dropship is going to arrive at a destination. It'll maintain a holding pattern above an area and the dropship will frequently uh, equip with its uh, basically it's equipped with uh, standard weapon systems and it's going to engage anybody who comes within range of it. Um, the extraction zone will be generated. It's going to be a one minute extraction timer. So that's the point where you want to stop the other guys from from leaving, right? Um, catch point two is if the defenders get in that extraction zone, the timer stops. It's a one minute timer and one minute timer only. Now, mind you, you're gonna have the dropship above you shooting down though, so that's eh, not gonna be the greatest. Um, overall, though, I'm really excited for it because no matter what, you're gonna get you're gonna get data points for your team. Um, so, I mean, that getting that long Tom cannon is going to be hard. Um, I know our unit is going to be just grinding out those, uh, those options and those, uh, those abilities ASAP. So we're definitely going to be seeing what we can do by getting those, uh, 90 percenters. So for anyone playing in the FRR, we're, uh, we're going to be hopefully getting you guys that 90% time, that 90%. But in the next episode, we are talking about war planning. We already talked about leaderboard and units. We already talked about the new game mode. Uh, we already talked about tournament points. So that's it. That is this patch. Um, obviously, the big thing is being the f new 4v4 map or mode. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, expect a bunch, a bunch of my Xbox just turned itself on. <laughs> that was the weirdest fucking thing ever. Um, expect a lot of videos over the next little bit of tutorials, just what units are, where to go, and how to click things. Because to be honest with you, reading it, looking at pictures, you know, still doesn't really give you much. Um, so what will happen is I'm probably going to be part of my unit for the first little bit, um, kind of get get used to things, figure it all out, and then I will have my tutorials starting up on Monday. So, with that in mind, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.